40 milligrams of the drug in 100 mils of 5% dextrose to run over five hours. So what do we have to do here? Even before I read the question, I see that the 40 milligrams are already dissolved because I cannot run something that is not milliliters. It's the volume that is run, not the milligrams, the dry ingredient. So uh, basically the 40 milligrams at this stage won't be needed because it's already dissolved, mixed in that 100 mil liquid there. The 5% dextrose is just a type of dextrose that you are going to use. So that's what we know then. We have 100 mils to run over five hours. First question, how many mils per hour will the, infu will the infusion run? Well, if it's mils per hour, as we know, we are always going to work with volume divided by the time. The time here, we are told to keep it in hours. So the volume always in milliliters and the time as it is there given in five hours. We can do this calc in our head. We don't need a calculator. We can even just look. 100 is hard. So just imagine that there's no zero there. How many fives go into 10? Two. So bring that zero back. How many fives go into 100? 20. So all we have is 20 mils per hour. There's no cancellation here. We are just working with the volume over time. The liquid that is going to be infused over a period of time. Over in mathematics is like a fraction line that is division. But the idea is that too. We are dividing, we are giving, infusing this volume over a period of time. So we just do the division. Read the question again. How many mils per hour would the infusion run? 20 mils per hour. Done. So let's look at B. The infusion started, this one, at 1800 hours using the 24 hour clock. So what time do you expect the infusion will finish? Well, let's think about that. 1800. That's when it started. Let's look how long it will be running for. Five hours. So what we are basically doing is five hours from 1800. So all we are actually doing is adding five hours on top of this. So 18 plus five, in this case, it's not too bad because it doesn't go over 24, 23. So 2300. If you want to think in a uh, time in just 12 hours. What is 1800? So 6 p.m. Five hours. Five on top of that will give us 11 p.m., which is basically the 2300 that we need to give as an answer. Please remember, I mean, we, we don't need to count one by one, but if you want to go from 18 and count five hours on top of that, remember you don't count the 18. 18, 19, so you count the full hour that has gone by from 18 to 1900. Then from 1900 to 2000, another one, and then to 21, and then to 22. Let's see how many we have so far. One, two, three, four, we need to go one more, five. So we get to the 23. 2300 as our final answer. So just to make sure you don't count 18, 19, you count 18 to 19 is the first hour completed. Then 19 to 20, the second hour and so on. So let's read the question again. What time do you expect the infusion will finish? 2300. So we should use the 24 hour clock. C. At 2100 hours, how many mils would have been infused? Well, we know it started at 1800. And actually, that uh, diagram we did just before as a third strategy to solve question B will help us with that. So 18 
to 2100. We just count one, two, three. How else could you do this? Well, you could say 2100 is the end time we want to know at this point here to, to find out how many mils would have been infused. So what's the difference 2100 and 1800? 21 minus 18? 3. But we all just simply say, so 3 hours. And looking back at the diagram, 1, 2, 3 hours have gone by when we get to 2100. So read the question again. How many mils will have been infused? Well, if for every one hour, we calculated in question A here, for every one hour we infuse 20 mils. So 20 mils, we don't need to do the full calc again, we just look at that, every one single hour. If now we have three hours, we could do a box for this, we could do a formula, but it's probably just good to try and think about proportions in your head as well. What happened here? One has turned into three. We want to know three. It's three times bigger. So multiply by three. So same here, the 20 mils must be three times bigger and that will give us 320s, 60 mils in three hours. So at 2100 hours, how many mils would have been infused? Final answer, 60 mils. If that is not um, clear enough, let's just look again. 2100, so first just knowing that we started at 1800 to get to 2100, we need to know it is three hours. In question A, we had already calculated that the 100 mils that is to be infused over 5 hours would give us 20 mils for each hour. So we could do a box if you preferred. So what do we have for the box here? Acting as our have. Because of the slash, I have two quantities. One of them is that one hour that is a bit invisible. So 20 mils in one hour. But now we want to calculate over three hours. So we could then just multiply the diagonal. 20 mils times three hours and divide by that one hour. So you see that the hours cancel out. 20 times three is 60. 60 divided by one is still 60. So 60 mils is what was run over three hours or in the period between 800 and 2100 hours.